All right, my name is Chad Balch, and I'm with Chevrolet, and we're standing in front of the 2018 Chevy Volt. This is a uh, sort of a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It plugs into a regular household outlet. On a full charge, the battery will take you about 53 miles, but when the battery is depleted, instead of you having to stop and plug in and recharge, there's a generator under the hood that creates electricity to take you as far as you want to go. Mm -hmm. So it's electric for your daily commute, but if you want to take it on a road trip, it can go as far as you need to go. The Volt is loaded with technology inside. It has a 4GE LTE Wi-Fi system, so it's a, a hotspot. You can pair it to about seven different devices uh, and have Wi-Fi access while you're driving. It has safety features such as lane keep assist, which if you veer out of the lane, it'll help nudge you back into the lane and give you an audible alert. It has uh, a teen driver system, which allows parents to track the, the driving behaviors and habits of their kids. So when the kids bring back the car, there's actually a report card that shows up mm -hmm. on the center of the stack. It shows if they sped, it shows if they had to slime on the brakes, oh, it shows nice. if they departed the lane. All of the main features uh, or safety habits, um, you, the parent gets to see after mm -hmm. the child returns from the trip. Mm -hmm. This is a five-seater. There's three seats in the back here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a change over the last generation. The last generation was a four-seater. It is a hatchback, so the hatch opens, the seats fold down, and there's a lot of storage space in the, in the back. Yes, I, I opened the trunk a couple of minutes ago, and I was surprised. It's a relatively big trunk for... Yeah, so there's a lot of storage space here, and obviously the hatchback gives you even more. And then when the seats fold down, there's a very large area for you to haul stuff if you need to. Mm -hmm. But the best part about this car is the ability to drive both on electricity when you need it, and then to use the gasoline engine when you want to take a long road trip, so you're not stranded. So if you're working like 20 miles from your home, you can go back and forth and not even spend the drop of gas for the yeah, whole year. Yeah, so if your daily commute is less than 53 miles, you'll never use gasoline if you're able to plug in and recharge. And do you have the retail price for 2018 model? Yeah, this it's just about just under thirty-five thousand dollars, and that's before the incentive. So it does qualify for the seventy-five hundred dollar federal tax credit. And then here in California, there's a state rebate of about fifteen hundred dollars. That she drops down to something like twenty-five almost. Correct. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you qualify for all the tax credits, it's about twenty-five, twenty-six thousand.